Relationships are what drive community. They are what drive spirituality. They are what drive service. And I get energized from meeting people. As an extrovert, I, I meet people all the time. I love it. Uh, but it gives me energy uh, meeting people who are discerning the service. I love serving just because it involves bringing the community together. You meet so many different friends. You get to help people. It just it makes me really happy just to see other people smile. That's, that's really what it is for me, just seeing people smile. I've done volunteer work since I was a little girl, so it's something that's always been kind of close to my heart. Faith and service go hand in hand because uh, all believers and all people are brothers and sisters, so you're obligated to help them in any way you can. I think that service is an important experience for students to take part in because uh, there is a lot that can be learned from going to a new place or going to somewhere just down the street where there might be people who, who need a little extra help, whether it be building a house or you know, just at, or at a nursing home where you're just sitting and talking with a person. Just looking at people's faces after you help them, their eyes light up and you just get this this feeling of wow I've helped I've helped somebody sometimes just sitting down with a person having a conversation um, listening to them or sharing your story is one of the most beautiful things you can share with a person um, no matter where they're at in their life or where you're at in your life I think that um, that's something that I try to continue to keep with me in the work that I do today. I can see God really in the community. When I talk to people, I try to spread the word. It's just about being kind to people, treating others like you would like to be treated yourself. One of the best ways to be able to show Christ's love is to be able to love on His people. And in order to do that, it goes further than just loving your family and your friends. You also have to go out and serve the people that you live with. I've been good at mathematics since I was a little child. Um, and I've always wanted to share that gift with other people. And that's actually why I'm going into mathematics and education. In the long run, I think that it'll give me either the enjoyment that I have for teaching already, or it'll make it more abundant. A lot of times I think the students, sometimes they feel like, you know, we didn't finish that house we were building, we didn't finish painting that room, but oh my gosh, the stories that I heard from the people I was with, and you just see them light up with that energy and that excitement, and um, the service goes both ways. We aren't just going down to Kentucky or Virginia to serve people. We're serving with people. I would definitely be interested in going to the Northwest, be in, especially in rural parts of the Northwest, just to work with rural populations because I've lived in a rural area for a long time. So I think it's really important to bring aspects of faith to those communities. Also, I'd be interested in going to Eastern Europe, especially Poland. I'd be really interested in going to Poland. I've been looking into going on after my nursing degree and getting my midwife license. I've also had kind of a calling of doing hospice nursing as well. And then on top of that with the theology, I'm looking into doing a hospital chaplaincy program. So that might be a way to be able to kind of combine everything together. I've always wanted to be in the southern part of the Midwest. Um, I've just always found an appeal to um, rural life. And I mean, I come for, from a rural town myself. I think that personal touch adds something for the students that are discerning service. And it's because of my service that I that reinforced me about the importance of relationships. Uh, listening to who they are, meeting them where they are, listening to their stories. Uh, and that means I'm not just a better recruiter, but because of that experience, I'm a better person for it. We're sharing this world together. And I think that's something that really is a great benefit of volunteering your time or going to a different place and doing some sort of service. Having a greater understanding that we're not just living in our communities, we're living in a world community. Uh, and we're all called to be brothers and sisters in Christ in this one world together.